trying to decide to make two different teams, the level and the list of players they take. Um, decisions made based on the future of the program, things like that. All right? Um, cutting back some of the roster a little bit, giving guys more playing time. Um, decisions were very, very difficult. Winchester. Alberto Ambrosio. Edwin Juarez. Nick 
Cortez. Lionel Mendoza. OCL Gonzalez. Eligar Fuentes. I don't see him, but Kevin Salcedo. Daniel Montalongo. Jordi Jordan. Derek Gomez. Henry Morales. Luis Castillo. Denilson Cruz. Devin <laughs> Guys, it is me. Thank you for coming out. All right. The last five guys picked. Literally, there are 10 of you in line for the last five. Not an easy decision. But it's a decision the staff has come in agreement with. Okay? Please support us. All right? Love to see you guys in the game. <laughs> hey, so listen up, hey. Hey, what's up? As I said, hey, Brian. Hey, as I said, guys, the future is bright. I think we brought in 15 new guys this year. Of the 38, 15 are brand new. I want to say there's probably 9 to the freshmen. The future is definitely bright. JV guys, your task. All right. Last year's JV team went undefeated. You guys got to match that. You got to come together quickly. Play your ass off. Work hard. Okay. Your job is to find the few spots available to push these guys on. All right. Every year I call some guys up. Okay. Work your ass off to be one of those guys called up. Because this year's team's going to hold a district title. Never won more than one playoff game in the season. It's time to win three, four, five. This program is every year been one of the top programs in this school year in and year out. Since I played here in 94, 93, 92, 91, it's always been one of the best programs ever in the school. You guys have a reputation to hold. All right? Stay out of trouble in class. All right? On and off the field, hey, on and off the field, we're models. Make sure people look up to us. This on our chest here represents us as a whole. And with Big Ridge, you represent a school and a community with that Mulder. We're a one city town. We don't split this town with nobody else. All right? Also, on the field, we're going to work. We're going to work, work, work. We have one of the hardest schedules and probably in the state of Florida. Right? It's one of the hardest schedules in, in school history. I promise you that. It was built for that. If I didn't make it that hard, it's not because I didn't think you could do it. It's absolutely think I could do it. You can do it. It's a challenge you, prepare you every single day to play the best competition. You got to come out and practice every day. Be the best every single day. If you don't, the result won't show what it needs to be. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Every one of you guys, congratulations to every single one of you. Right? We were going to go 36. Okay. You made it so tough, we bumped it to 38. We added two extra guys. Don't disappoint. Yes, sir. Okay? Yes, sir. Hey, you don't have your physicals, get them in. Alright? You'll get yourself to me, everybody else get it to the office. Okay? Grades. I'm the big stickler about grades. Okay? You must have good grades. I think we've lost two guys my whole time here. And I'm pretty proud of that. That's a lot. We've got three guys on top. Two guys total for grades. I'm going to do whatever I can to make sure your grades are good. That means you
you sit out of practice and get your work done, you get your work done. All right, my first year, one of the top GPAs in the school as a team. Last year, we maintained above a 3.0 again. Last year, recognized by the state of Florida as a classroom champion, team GPA. I expect nothing less. You were students first, athletes second. Get your stuff in practice. Yeah. Because if you don't, trust me, I'll make sure you don't play. Because for some of you, you're never walking past these gates to play another sport. Grades have to get you to college, get the opportunity. Okay, that's my goal as, as a coach is to make you young men, responsible young men. Okay, that go on to succeed. It starts in the classroom. Trust me. I, I, I was I went here. School sucks. Coach Chop went here. School sucks. But you got to get done. It's required. Okay. Tomorrow, team meeting, three o'clock. Okay. Yeah. Um. I'm trying to organize it. It's either going to be in our locker room, on the right, you guys don't know, or in the weight room, depending on what football and what football is going to be at. All right. Okay. Yeah, I understand that. I'm saying, do we go to the meeting or no? I'll talk to the coach and see what you guys are able to do. Hey, tomorrow's meeting. Hey, listen, tomorrow's meeting. Listen up. It's 3 o'clock. Okay. Meet over there. We'll figure out where we're going to be, either in the locker room or the weight room. Okay? When you show up tomorrow, I'm going to get your name, date of birth, telephone number you can be reached at. All right? That's contact information. All right? I'm also going to get, hey, I also need to get your sizes, shirt sizes. Okay? And then I'm going to hand out some gear. Okay? Got that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Hey, well done, boys. Hey, clap it up. Good stuff, boys.